So okay, we have our IK arcade cabinet for the iPad. IK arcade cabinet for the iPad. A little tongue twister there. And we have uh, uh, an iPad right here. I have already downloaded a couple of um, IK compatible games on this. And I believe I also downloaded the Atari's Greatest Classics from the Apple Store. So once I've built this, I can then connect to this uh, iPad via Bluetooth and we can play some games. Uh, pretty much straight away. So for now, let me just put this iPad aside and let's focus on building the IK cabinet. Okay, so let's take the IK parts out of the box. Now I did mention that some assembly is required, but it doesn't require anybody with an engineering PhD. Very simple. And I also mentioned that you would need a, a a screwdriver and I was incorrect this actually comes with a small allen key and the allen key is all you need to uh, put this together right because the uh, all the screws are have that hex type head which, which you need an allen key so it already comes with a tool already so that's great so taking it out of the box We have our Ion IK, this is the top piece. Actually, this is the back of the uh, IK cabinet. This is the top piece. And we have some uh, paperware, I call it paperware. Simple instructions. It also has configuration instructions as well for the games. So it you know, how you map your keys depending on what games you play. So I must mention that this um, actually includes a free download of the Tyree's Greatest Hits app. Right? And the games that we have on here, like Crystal Castles, Gravatar, Liberator, Lunar Lander, we're to show you uh, you know what keys do what in terms of one player start, two player start, jump, all that. That's for the games on the Atari's Greatest Classics um, that you can download from the App Store. Now this makes a great gift if you have a friend or husband or wife who's into the classic gaming and they have an iPad. This is a really cool gift because it doesn't cost much as well, right? It's pretty cheap too. Okay, packaging, if you can, I always recommend keep the packaging, you never know if you want to return it, if you're not happy with it, you know, most uh, retail stores today will be, you know, accept the return once you have it in a good, you know, the packaging is in a good position and you can resell it, right? So there's no packaging. So here we have a bag of screws, and it looks like the little red, uh, chewing a bubble gum, but it's actually a top of a joystick. And there's, the, there's an Allen key here as well. So here we have our obviously these are the buttons, and here's the joystick. And in the back here, there is also a compartment for two AA batteries. I believe, because I already opened this already, so I just wanted to show you what it's like when you open it, but I already put two AA batteries inside. That of course powers the Bluetooth connectivity, and obviously all the brains are in this, are in this piece, yeah. And of course, we have our, our, our sides, the sides of the uh, mini arc, arcade cabinet. And it has a nice iCade, Ion iCade branding on the side. I like the red. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but one of my favorite colors is red. As my home office, I have red as my accent color. Anybody who's into home decorating know what the word accent means when it comes to decorating. <laughs> anyway, and here's the other side. All right. So, it's one, two, three, four, 
five, six pieces. Well, one, two, three, four, five pieces. Bag of screens and bits and pieces and paperware. All right, so I don't need the paperware. Now, let's build. So what I always do first thing is take out the screws, so add the tools, lay them out nicely on the table so I know what I have. So I have one, two, three, four, four short screws. I have four long screws. Then I have these two silver things, and these are the actual pivots for the top piece because the top piece is supposed to open and close, so I can put my iPad in. So these little silver things are the pivots for that floor. And then there's my uh, joystick pieces right here. And here's our Allen key. Make sure to keep your Allen key safe. When, uh, and safely stored away. Pretty much keep it in the same box if you're keeping it because you may need to, if you're moving or something or you want to store, pack it away and store it, you may want to you know, dismantle it and pack it away. And you know what, if you misplace your Allen key, you can always go to your nearest hardware store and buy, you can buy the Allen keys. They come in like, you know, bunches, like packs for different sizes. All right, so where should I start? So what I'm gonna do first is connect the back piece where the iPad's going to sit on, onto the controller panel first, and there's two holes here, so rule of thumb, all the long, the, the long, there are two sets of screws, there's long screws and short screws, the long screws hold the sides in, and the short screws go everywhere else, so I'm going to put two short screws in the bottom here, and have the IK logo, you can actually have it facing you, so you can you know, see it, or you can have the IK logo behind, you can see it from behind. So I prefer to have the IK, IK logo uh, facing frontwards so I can actually see it. Because it does make it uh, look nice even when there's no iPad in it and it's just sitting down for show. It looks nice, you know, to see the logo there. Okay. Let me just put this in. Okay, so I have my back piece on. I have the controller on the front. So obviously next now I'm going to put on the sides. So let's start with the, maybe the left side. So put the left side on to this. Let's connect it like that. And what we do, stand it up if I want, because it's easier if I just stand it up like that. Now, long screw, because we're connecting it to the side here. Line up this with here. And the long screw, line it up with this. Right here. Now there's a small screw at the front, so three screws hold, hold one side on, so two on the side, one sh two long screws on the side, one short screw in the front, let me change this here. Now, important thing, so what I find a lot of people do, right, they'll put this side on, and then you wonder, oh crap, I have to put this door on the top, right? So what I recommend you do, you put the door and the other side on at the same time, right? So we have these hinges that we talked about. So on the back here, there's holes for the hinges. One here. And then the door, make sure that the instructions that are on the top face in, inwards. So, uh, that. Alright, so when, it, when it's in a closed position, you don't see the instructions. When you open the door, you can see the instructions. So, just have it like, well, put it on its side like that, and then put the hinge on the other side of the door. And then you get the other side here, and line them up. up and now we have our door and everything in place and all we have to do is put the screws in and then the short screw to the front and 
here you have your tabletop arcade with an opening door so that your iPad can fit right inside, instructions at the top, and we have these nice fat, you know, arcade type buttons, and they're, they're exact replicas of the real arcade machine, um, but same size and everything, same springiness, everything. Great. So we have these two things left the top of the joystick and the base of the joystick. So you put the base, this little black disc, um, and what the black disc does is cover the screws, the four, there are four little screws that hold the arcade joystick in place. For aesthetic purposes, I'm just going to cover those, so that's that. And then you just screw this on. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that took a couple of minutes and I'm still here. I'm not, I haven't pulled my hair out. Well, no, technically, we don't have any hair to pull out. But here is our Ion IK tabletop machine.